people are promoting the metaverse as a place where they can live out their fantasies, whether it's fighting their foes on a battlefield or going on a date with the woman of their dreams. However, for these experiences to be completely immersive, you must be able to feel as well as see and hear in the metaverse. So in today's video, we will look at the insane technology that allows you to kiss and feel. So, is it possible to have the sense of feeling in the metaverse? Is it possible to kiss in the metaverse? Well, most consumer VR equipment forego taste, smell, and touch in favor of sight and sound. That's enough to make the VR experience more interesting than it was decades ago, but not nearly enough to fool the user's brain into believing what his eyes perceive is similar to reality. Researchers have worked for years to develop and refine both new and old virtual reality equipment so that users in virtual reality feel as real as they appear. It's incredible that VR technology can replicate these emotions. However, it takes us closer to dystopian worlds in which virtual reality controls every aspect of your existence. If you're new to kissing or you might want some practice, the metaverse might help. There is a new technology in the metaverse that allows actual kissing. Metaverse kissing will elevate internet relationships to a whole new level, thanks to the power of science, especially if things can be enhanced and expanded on, if you know what I mean. Experts want to take the realism a step further as if the metaverse wasn't terrible enough with shady strip joints and naked avatars. The Human Computer Interaction Institute, also known as the Future Interface Group FIG, at Carnegie Mellon University, has developed a device that allows users to experience the feel of lips, teeth, and tongue in virtual reality. It's a seductive new technology that allows you to kiss someone in the metaverse. Of course, it would be a waste to employ such a great new technology to recreate brushing teeth and drinking water in virtual reality. The first thing that springs to mind, regardless of who it is, is to use this technology to recreate the wonderful contact of kissing in virtual reality. The device's operating principle is to focus the ultrasonic pulse towards the position in and around the user's mouth using the thin and light ultrasonic transducer and the newly added module, and to suspend and move the tiny particles by bombarding them with high-energy ultrasonic pulses. When the user opens their mouth, they get the feeling of touch on their lips, teeth, and even tongue. You can see how this could become a popular use for virtual lovers. Not only may a basic touch between the lips and teeth be replicated this way, the ultrasonic pulses can also be programmed into various precise patterns by making adjustments to the hardware manipulation code. This allows you to simulate the experience of an object sliding over your lips and swiping over them or the continuous vibration of a virtual stream of water splashing in your mouth when you bend over to drink from a virtual water dispenser. Naturally, it also incorporates different tactile experiences of the couple's lips and tongues interacting during kissing. All components are integrated inside the headset so the user does not need to wear a separate accessory or install any external infrastructure in their room. There will be nothing in your mouth when you use this innovative kissing technology. Now that may seem contrary to actual kissing, but this prototype headset will be worn above your nose and will use haptics to simulate kissing on your face. Time spent in the metaverse will become more immersive, real, and believable thanks to the technology. Despite being second in terms of sensitivity behind the fingertips, the mouth has been generally underutilized as a haptic target in virtual and augmented reality AR. Haptic feedback simulates a virtual experience, such as a game, by vibrating the gamer. Vibrations from mobile phones or game controllers are similar in that they let the user know when something is operating. It can make a virtual experience more immersive when directed at locations on the user's body other than the hands. But will this kissing in the metaverse be that effective? We're not sure if kissing is intended to feel like constant vibration on the lips, but it is the best virtual reality has to offer at the moment. We're hoping the kissing is pleasurable, as we can't imagine vibration on the lips being really pleasant or satisfying. Aside from kissing individuals, scientists seek to reproduce more mouth sensations, which may sound scary, but it's not. Researchers hope to mimic the sensations of brushing your teeth, smoking cigarettes, and drinking water using haptic technology. The ingenious technology can simulate swipes and vibrations in and around your mouth that you would associate with each activity. This is due to haptic technology, which increases realism and immersion while also increasing user reactions. If you all wanted to do the thing after kissing, you'd need more advanced technology than this headset can provide. 
Nevertheless, researchers believe that these lifelike feelings can be utilized to help people deal with real-life problems. For example, the sensation of smoking a cigarette has medical benefits and can be utilized as therapy to help people quit smoking. It's a little creepy to see scientists try to duplicate real-life sensations that most people can relate to. While metaverse kissing seems intriguing, you might want to try Bumble or Tinder instead. You might even get a second date if you're lucky, which is genuinely revolutionary. A research paper explaining its development as well as a film demonstrating the possible uses of haptic input to the mouth in various virtual contexts has been published by the Future Interface Group. The metaverse and virtual reality are currently primarily focused on 360-degree visuals, sound, and hand controllers. Although scientists have yet to demonstrate how it may be used to kiss, it's easy to see how it could become a popular use case for virtual lovers. They showed the technology in a variety of scenarios, including a spider-infested haunted adventure game. Testers felt feelings on their lips as they walked through webs, creepy crawlers jumping at their faces, and even a sensory sense from shooting exploding spiders. Another option was that while playing a horror game in VR or the metaverse, the technology could imitate a spider brushing across the lips or a liquid falling into the mouth. Despite demonstrating a wide spectrum of haptic effects, the sensory lexicon is still limited when compared to that of the real world. They claim it's similar to vibration motors seen in portable controllers and mini smartphones, but with more spatial expressivity. According to the researchers, proximity of the mouth to the headset will provide a big potential to enable on- and in-mouth haptic effects without the need for wires or additional equipment. Since its inception, the metaverse has been in hot water due to numerous facets of it having a harmful impact on the real world. There have been reports of harassment, the virtual space encouraging vulgar aspects, and privacy concerns. Nevertheless, we can see the good that it comes with. It plans to change the world to a better place to be in. Companies like Meta consider haptic technology, which focuses on activating a range of senses other than sight, as critical to making the metaverse as lifelike as possible. The metaverse, according to Mark Zuckerberg, is an embodied internet. Within a few years, Facebook users will be able to access the network through a virtual reality headset, rather than their phone or computer. They may meet up with a Facebook buddy in a virtual shared area, such as an ultra-realistic simulation of another planet or a beautiful garden, and audibly converse to each other's avatars, rather than swiping the screen of a device. It will be defined by social presence or the sensation of being right there with another person, no matter where you are on the globe. Well, who knows, you might even end up kissing your internet crush. Anyway, although the metaverse is still a ways off, portions of it are already here, with more on the way. If this technology is combined with other hardware and technologies, the possibilities are endless. There is an abundance of potential and business opportunities. And that is all for today's video. What is your take on the metaverse? Do you think kissing in the metaverse will have the same feeling like in reality? Let us know in the comments section below and go through the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.